morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How y'all doing? What you want me to do it? Hey y'all. <laughs> okay, so good morning. Um, I wanted to make sure that I had all of these resources up here for you this morning. So if you are in North Carolina, then you are in for a treat, especially if you have a business, because what we're going to be talking about today is some other places where you can get some money for your business. But a lot of the things that I'm going to give you, you do have to be in specific locations. So just take that with a grain of salt. If you're in these locations, not then guess what you can still spread the message to other people so today we're going to start out because there is um, a brand new fund that is in winston-salem so i'm going to bring up the information about that winston-salem and i'm just kicking it off so we're not even going to do all of the extra pleasantries and stuff y'all know what it is it's corona content with chisa and um i like to give you some information that you can use for your business for somebody else's for your personal professional life today though we're talking about money and where you can get it for your business now everything that i'm going to give you you needed to be in business prior to to COVID. So this is not a, okay, I'm just trying to start now and I need a loan. No, this is, what's going on with my hair? I don't know. It's just doing its own thing. I'm just going to let it go. This is like my ode to little Richard today, I guess. All right. So you needed to be in business prior to COVID and now you'll be able to get some of the resources to help you through COVID. So today, um, Winston-Salem, they have a thing that is the Small Business Relief Grant Program. Now, this is specifically for businesses who are more so in the downtown area, but let me just tell you what it says. Greater Winston-Salem Incorporated and the Downtown Winston-Salem Partnership announce a grant program for local businesses impacted by COVID-19. For your eligibility, okay, you need to be located in Forsyth County and locally owned. So this is where I'm saying that doesn't mean that you could just jump up and say, okay, I do business in Winston. No, you need to be locally owned. So they want you to have a business that is actually in the area. They want you to also be in business prior to January 1st, 2019. This applies to brick and mortar and all retail and goods and services type businesses, okay? Now, there you also would need to have five or fewer locations. So the funding will give you $2,500 if you have between one to three employees and $5,000 if you have four or more employees. Now, what it says is the goals are funding priorities include but are not limited to businesses um, deemed non-essential during the stay-at-home orders those owned by women and people of color and those located in downtown that were impacted by the business 40 closure and COVID-19 in short succession. So this is where you can go ahead and you can see if your business is located in this area and you're in Winston-Salem, then these are things that are applicable to you and your business. Now, what you'll be able to do is go to my website at ladybusiness.com forward slash COVID-19 and the link will be there for you to be able to click and go directly to where you can find out this information. Now, my suggestion with everything, is when you see me give you this information, if it applies to your business, if it applies to your business, if it applies to your business, to go ahead and put those applications in ASAP because you have to understand whenever they have these funds, the money is going to run out at some point in time. And you don't want to be one of those people that's like, oh, I should have applied. Should have, could have, would have, but didn't and then don't get no money. I'm just throwing it out there. All right, so the next thing I want to give you is Raleigh has their small business fund and I have a um I have a video up so you can go it's like an hour and some change where you can watch about Raleigh and their fund but the applications for Raleigh guess what they opened today so you would be able to go today and apply for Raleigh's fund that they have up there um and so I'm trying to pull up all of the information I thought I had this one up but I have up the um I have up the Raleigh COVID-19 fund. I have up the video. Um, and so I'm not going to sit down and go over that whole video right now. But um, the one that they have in Raleigh, <clears throat> if your business is located in there, these funds are partnered with the city of Raleigh and Carolina Small Business Development Fund. They provide grants for qualifying small businesses that have been adversely impacted by the pandemic. Now, this says the online application is now available and re and will remain available through 11.59 p.m. on Thursday, May 21st. What's today, y'all? May 11th. So that means you have from now till May 21st, almost at midnight, to apply for this if you are in Raleigh. So 
this is a program that you're only going to be able to apply for this for up to a week, basically. So this is the qualification for that one, that your business is located in the city of Raleigh, that your business has 49 employees or less, that it must be a storefront. It also includes food trucks who are able to show rent payments paid to a commercial space, hairstylists and barbers who rent booths from salon owners and actual salon owners. Business... Um, has experienced at least a 25% decline in revenues due to COVID-19 between January 1st and April 30th. And I'm sorry, y'all need a sip. Hold on. Woo. Business annual revenue of less than $2.5 million as of the latest completed business tax returns. Your business has not filed for bankruptcy. Your business does not have any open tax liens. Your business does not have any current judgments. And businesses who have been operating for one year or less and have filed a 2019 tax return and also meet other eligibility criteria <coughs> are eligible to apply today. It says businesses who have been operating for one year or less and have not filed a 2019 tax return are ineligible to apply. So I'm giving you this because then this way you can kind of understand some of the things that are happening. So if you're in Raleigh, then this is one of the things that you can apply for. But again, this one, you have to apply for it by the 19th, which is next week. So the documentation that they're requiring, shush, shush, computer, is a copy of your lease or mortgage agreement, receipt or um, proof of paid city taxes or screenshot. Businesses must provide a valid unexpired driver's license or government issued ID. Certificate of good standing or a screenshot of your secretary of in-state, which means um, secretary of NC, which means that your business is actually incorporated. And so then you will have your articles of incorporation, payroll documentation or quarterly unemployment insurance filing, full social security number and EIN number, which will be used to pull your credit report and verify your business. Your business is NAICS code. Now NAICS, let me see if I can remember it because it's an acronym. North American, ah, what does NAICS code stand for? I can't remember. North American Identification Code. So basically when your business, when you start your business, what happens is you get a code. So when you're filing for your EIN, right, which is your business's social security number, you're telling the government what your business does. So in you telling the business, the government what your business does, they assign codes to you. So for instance, if I say that I'm a bakery, there's a specific code for a bakery. And so this way it kind of signifies what your business actually does to let them know where you stand as far as you're in this particular category. So they want a lot more information than some of the other companies are asking for. But guess what? You need to find that out. So on their site, they also have it where you can find what your next code is if you don't know that they also want your monthly sales revenue for each month from january to april um and then they want you to bring your banking information including your routing and checking account number so when i'm saying this to you i am telling you that there is money out there but people are going to require you to have certain documentations to prove that you're one illegal business two to prove that you're affected by covid and three to just make sure that this way you had your stuff together so this is where a lot of businesses are not getting money you know why because they don't have their stuff together so so if you haven't filed your taxes yet and you're looking for any of these things, understand that people are still trying to get funding out there to you. There you go. Thank you, Terry, because I'm like, my mind can't remember it. I'm so used to saying next code and it just is in the industry classification because I'm like, something is missing. All right. So when you look at this and you're saying, okay, well, what do businesses need? People need to know that you have your documentation to prove that you're a real business. So there are a bunch of companies out there who probably need this money, but one big thing and one big factor is you filing your taxes. Now, let me tell you. So what was it? Fr Saturday. Saturday, I was out. We did our um, we did our big, gigantic chat with Chisa for the state of North Carolina. It was wonderful. It came out really, really great. Thank you for everybody who attended. If you attended, go ahead and type into the thing. Let us know, right? So... Um, so then when we looked at this, um, afterwards we said, okay, well, we need some lunch, right? So I'm like, okay, well, you know, we're going to go spend with a small business. So we go over to Gillespie Grill. Let me tell you how God works. So while we're at Gillespie Grill, I order my food. I'm standing in line. We're six feet apart, like we're supposed to be. And then somebody comes up and right. So Ann Dalton comes up. 
And she's talking about her business and what she's been able to do during this time. She said, yes, it was. It was amazing. That's great. That's what I'm talking about. You know how we give it to the people. So she's saying that she's transferring her business. She listened to my stuff. She's putting her stuff on Shopify. That's one person, right? So I'm like, okay, that's great, girl. When you get your stuff up on Shopify, send me the link so I can buy something from you. Okay. Then I'm still in line. It's another lady that comes up and this lady says to me, hey, now mind you, everybody's got on their mask so I can't tell who people they are. Who who people are. I just didn't have on my mask because we had a fresh face and so it was no makeup on. I mean, we wasn't messing up our makeup with a um with a mask, right? So then um, this other lady is there and she's got on her mask and she was like, hey, she said, I attended one of your workshops. She was like, it was downtown at um, the website place. So I was like, photo biz. So she was like, yes. So she's talking to me. Then she's saying, well, do you know who can help with branding? Because I'm a real estate agent and I really want to do da da da. So then I'm telling her about the classes that I have that's coming up. And then that's wonderful. I turn around. There's another man standing in line. He takes off his mask and he says to me, well, I came to your thing that you did in High Point last year and he was just like it was amazing it was so great and he's telling me about how he's you know trying to get his stuff together and what he does for his business and he said the only issue right and this man has been in business for a long time he said the only thing that is holding him up so you'll see where my story is going it sounds like i'm going off the rails but i'm not but the only thing that was holding him up was he has not filed his taxes yet so he said he is working with his um, accountant right now to file his taxes okay and then he's going to go ahead and he's going to apply for the loan with Pete, my business capital. But let me tell you what this man said that warmed my heart. This man said, after I listened to your thing, he said, I went ahead and I got Hub certified. He went to the Access Center in Winston-Salem. He got his business Hub certified. Now, I need you to understand, this man has been in business for almost 20 years and was never Hub certified and is a black-owned business that is one of the only ones in the area that's doing what he's doing. But he had never been hub certified so i was just like you better come on carla okay i'm sorry y'all don't even understand i got real hyped up carla lopez miss brown okay this is from one miss brown to another i miss you i love you yes okay carla i want to do a live with you whenever we get a chance i know i'm going off the subjects but um we need to talk offline girl because i definitely need to do a live with you because you you've been doing this for a long time and i know people need your wisdom so let's talk offline okay let me get back in so this man had never been hub certified. And what he does, he's one of the only people in the area that does it. And I would, and I can't tell you what it is because then you might find out. But um, he said the only thing that was holding him up was because he did not have his taxes done. So he was working to get his taxes done. But he said, yes, he definitely wants to get the loan. And I'm telling him, I'm like, listen, with Piedmont Business Capital, you get that loan, you get your paperwork in, you will have your money within the course of a week. How do I know that? Because I've been seeing it happen to people so i'm just saying this one for raleigh they have way more stringent things that they're asking for and there will be a lot of people who need the money who can't get it because they don't have their paperwork together so i just want you to get ready because i promise you this on god there will be more cities there will be more funding that is coming but you have to have that paperwork together so even if it's not together now work on it so that this way if your city or your county or the state in general gives up some money you will be ready to be able to get a loan if necessary or to get a grant if there's a grant out there okay so let's move on so my next one i want to give you where you can get some money now you have to be in jackson county north carolina so if you're in jackson county which is up in the mountains let me just tell you so you know you're not in jackson county but they have a new fund on may 6th they established the jackson county and its partners established the all in jackson fund in response to covid19 this program provides low interest loans to severely impacted small businesses in Jackson County, helping them remain open until longer term funding becomes available. Now, you would work with one of the people who I love up there too, which is Mountain Biz Works, because they're the administrative of uh, administrators of the fund. So when you go to the website again at ladybusiness.com forward slash COVID-19, you will find that you can go and you can click there and you can see what's going on as far as the money. Now, Mountain Biz Works does have stuff that they've been doing for a long time to be able to help businesses. Um, and so they're definitely a great place place where you want to go and you want to get some of those resources. So if you are in Jackson County, North Carolina, then I would strongly suggest that you go here to look for some money. Now, in addition to that, I mentioned Piedmont Business Capital. 
Why? Because they're one of my clients, just like Carolina Small Business Development is one of my clients. But this is the thing about Piedmont Business Capital. If your business is located in the triad area of North Carolina, where I'm at, then there is a fund that is out here for triad businesses. So you don't have to just be located in Greensboro. But then we do have funding that is for businesses that are just in Greensboro as well. So what I'm suggesting to you is when you go to the website at PiedmontBusinessCapital.com, what you want to do is you want to look up at the top of the website and there is a part that says um where is it now need a loan you click on need a loan right and then when you go into there then you'll find out what's available to you now there is a thing called the golden leaf foundation and so what's happening is we are working with them in order to disseminate some of the money so when you go to need a loan now what happens on the site is it says apply for COVID-19 rapid recovery loan in minutes. Why? Because this is the loan that is funded through when you see that golden leaf and you saw that hundred, hundred what is it? $1.25 million that just went out. We're one of the people that are helping to funnel this money into the communities. So if you go here and this is the thing, so I want to give you this, this is separate from what you would talk about if you were just in a triad, this golden leaf one where it says rapid recovery loan, this one is different from the 0% loan, which is the continuity fund. So I'll talk about that separate. This loan right here, you could get up to $50,000 for your business. Now, when you go into here, let me see if I could pull up all of the, um, the stuff. When you go into here, it's going to tell you what you got to do to apply. Um, and then it's going to tell you, now here's the eligibility. Um, with this, it says all applicants must own and operate a legal business in NC or plan to do so okay it also says you must be 18 years of age or older you must have credit showing a successful repayment history so you know what that means don't be out here trying to apply for this with some jacked up credit <laughs> That's what it means because you having a successful payment history means that you've already been paying your bills. This does not mean that you have already had a loan. This does not mean that, okay, I've been in business and I've built business credit. This means when they check your personal credit that they will want to see that you've been paying your bills. Now, taking the consideration that the average person is going to have something like um, possibly medical bills, might be a mortgage, might be a car, might be some student loans. Those are reasonable things to have on your credit and would not necessarily put you in a, a pile where you're exempt from being able to get funding. But they do want to see that you've been paying your bills. So when I teach these classes and I tell everybody, pay your bills, even if you had bad credit, it's okay because you can only do what you can do going forward. So this is part of what you need for this rapid recovery loan and then it also says have no um not have any active judgments foreclosures or federal obligations in default so you need to take that into consideration when you're looking at applying for this loan so this one will get you up to fifty thousand dollars and again piedmont business capital is the one that is focusing on this one locally so when you go to the website at piedmontbusinesscapital.org what you want to do is it's right up at the top it says need a loan that's where you will fill out in order to get the information that you need for the rapid recovery loan and i'm just telling you that because it is different from the continuity fund so with the rapid recovery loan you do not have have to keep my triad, but you do need to have those requirements in order to get that funding. Now, I'm going to go with this one. This is my final one that I'm going to give you for today. The Small Business Continuity Fund, which is the one that we operate here locally in the triad. What it basically says is, um, oh, hold up, please leave your name in this room. Okay, so as of right now, this one is telling you that if you're still interested in it, for you to leave your name and your email address if you're interested in applying for that program, because that's a 0% interest loan program. And what they're hoping is right now to be able to reopen the program, because as of now, the program is closed right now. However, so a bunch of people that have already applied and have gotten funding. And so one of them is the um, Shea Janice that's downtown. And I guess that's how you say it. Um, another one has been the Artist Block. Um, I know that there are some other people that have been able to get it. Um, the Bodega that's downtown. So if you're interested in that, go ahead on the website and still leave your name and your email address. And then when some more money gets back in, then you can go ahead and apply for that fund. So that's why if you go to Piedmont Business Capital, the funds that are here locally, 
people have already scooped them up, right? But there will more than likely be more funds because we did get 460 some thousand dollars from But for that to be gone, that just shows you how much need there is for the money, right? So that's why I'm saying if you go to Piedmont Business Capital website, you can apply for the rapid recovery loan. And again, from there, you can get anywhere from 5,000 up to now they do the loan on a couple of things so i just want to tell you so you know in advance um based on your receipts for what you're actually responsible for so when you show them a copy of your lease and then they know how much your rent is okay that's part of it but then when you show them how much your payroll is that's a part of what goes into it when you talk about the inventory that you need or the supplies those are parts of what's necessary so i'm telling you for this to look at all of those things and to really have a form where it's out, laid out of what you need so um if anybody feels like they want that form i will be happy Happy to send it to you so that this way you can go ahead and list out the things that you actually have as far as um, your payroll. So basically, it's kind of like an um, a income statement, kind of cash flow statement kind of thing. If you want that, just go to ladybusiness.com, send me an email, and I'll go ahead and I'll send that form over to you. It'll be in Excel, so this way you can fill your stuff out and you'll know what needs to go into each form. Um, I'm not, it doesn't cost me anything to send you the form. I have no problem doing that. But since it's in Excel, I'd rather email it to you so we can make sure that everything works. Because because then all you have to do is just plug in your numbers and it'll add everything up for you and it'll give you a total at the bottom, which will then show you what you're actually spending on your monthly basis. Now, it's a couple of other things. So I just, listen, I don't have a problem telling you this because um, I want you to get the money. Like, I, I need you to stay in business. We need each other to stay in business, right? And the biggest thing is we didn't expect that some of the things that are happening right now were going to happen. But if there are people out here who are willing to give you money, whether it's a loan or whether it's a grant, you got to get the money, right? And this is not just talking about anything where you're looking at the SBA because the SBA might give out some more money. This is not just a regular stimulus check where it's that $1,200 and they might give out another check. This is money that is in your state, that is in your community. Now, I am sure other states okay i'm just not going over all the other states because i live in north carolina so i'm really taking care to focus on north carolina however if you go to ladybusiness.com forward slash covid19 i have a link inside of there which will give you stuff where you can click and you can find other states so if you're not located in north carolina you can still find where the money is now just take into consideration that sometimes people run out of money and when they run out of money then that means that you know maybe you need to be like that continuity fund and you need to get on the waiting list um, or maybe you just need to see if something else new is coming up so this is what I want to suggest to everybody if you are in North Carolina and you are in a city if it's Greensboro if it's Winston if it's High Point um, Charlotte wherever right then what I want you to think about is the fact that you can talk to your city write to them and I want you to tell them that Piedmont Business Capital could help their city to disseminate funds to you so if you're not in a particular area that has no fun or I haven't spoken about it do that now one more thing and I don't know how I forgot this so there is another fund ding 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 what am I thinking about um Mecklenburg County I knew I missed something Mecklenburg County um let me go up here um COVID fund so if you are in Charlotte also I don't know how I forgot Charlotte but they have one that they're calling a stabilization fund so if you are in the Charlotte area this stabilization fund they have kind of two versions there's a small business stabilization which is based on the county information and so that's a small business stabilization loan hold on y'all <coughs> And then they have a micro business stabilization fund. So there are two different ones. If you are in Charlotte that you could talk to. So now the, the micro business one says that they've committed a million dollars of readily available federal CDBG funds to create a micro business stabilization fund. So I'm going to go into that one because a lot of our businesses may be a little bit smaller. So when you look at this one, you can apply for loans up to $10,000 for the micro business. Now this is Mecklenburg County, which means my people in Charlotte. So if you're down in the QC area, this is for you. Um, and so all of this information will be at Lady Business dot com forward slash COVID-19 for you to be able to find it. So for this micro business one, it says that the funds may be used to cover day-to-day -day operating expenses of the business, such as payroll costs, commercial mortgage payment, rent, utilities, or losses due to dis um, 
destabilizing events. No collateral or personal guarantee is required, which means you don't have to put up any money, right? Um, and the business will not be charged any tax, any fees. It also says the loan is fully forgivable if the funds are used for eligible expenses. And this loan has a maturity of three years at 0%. Come on, Charlotte, like Mecklenburg is not playing games out here. So this is one that's really awesome for you to be able to do if you are down there. And if you are not, tell somebody that is there. That's the micro business stabilization. Now, let me pull up the small business one for you. So this one's different. This one, these are the requirements. It says businesses must be located in Mecklenburg County. They must operate for the past um, 24 months. The businesses with up to 50 full-time equivalent employees. They must demonstrate COVID-19 impact, 20% or more decline in gross revenues as evidenced from current bank statements from February 2020 or later. The length of credit history should be two years or greater. No credit accounts that are less than 90 days past due at the time of application, unless it's something that's medical. Neither principal nor business has had a bankruptcy filing in the last three years. No open tax liens, no current judgments, and no outstanding charge-offs or collections, um, less than $1,000, including medical. So this one, though, it says startups and small businesses that were, were not profitable prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, as evidenced by tax filings, are not eligible. So if you were not really getting any money, you're not eligible. So this is why... And I just want to just impart this to you. This is why it's important that we make sure that our bookkeeping is together. This is why we got to make sure that um, whatever we need, we have readily available. So I'm going to give you some tips on this. What I would like you to do is a couple of things. Get your stuff and look, have it on regular paper so that this way you can look at your things and you have them readily available. Okay. In addition to that, because I'm saying print out so you'll have your records, right? In addition to that, use something like Dropbox or your Google folder um, or something like that where you have some type of repository to be able to put these documents. So that means scanning a copy of your driver's license front and back just so that they, they might need that. Make sure that you have a copy of your lease and make sure that all these things are in PDF format. Make sure that you have those sales receipts. And I'm going to give you a couple of things for you to think about. You could use um, WAVE accounting if you chose to. WAVE, W-A-V-E. And if anybody wants to type this in, feel free to type it in. You could also use QuickBooks accounting if you chose to use that. And another one that, that's out there is FreshBooks. You may want to consider using that. So if you haven't been doing these things already, then consider going forward. Now, the thing that I like is most people are looking for QuickBooks and into it. Um, so if you look up QuickBooks, they also, right now, if you have the QuickBooks and you have Microsoft 365, you can get MileIQ for free. And so MileIQ is one of the things where it helps you to keep track of your mileage, which you need that for your taxes anyway. So I'm just giving you this. If you have the Microsoft 365, you can get MileIQ for free. And then this way you can keep track of those, those expenses when you're driving. So just giving you some things that you can do, but into it, which is um, where QuickBooks is, that product is built into a lot of different things. And so you can attach that if you're getting money where you're coming from um, PayPal or if you're getting your money and it's coming in the square or something like that, then you'll be able to still let that attach to your QuickBooks. And it probably can work with a bunch of other stuff. I just know that it specifically works with QuickBooks. So when you're looking at what you need to do, listen, if you didn't have it together beforehand, Now's the time to have it together. So you can go back right now. It's May. You got the whole rest of May to go back and see what you needed to do from January until now. Go back in, get all of your stuff and get your documentation, get your receipts and all of the rest of that together because... Even if you're not ready to apply now, you will be ready to apply later if you go ahead and then just get all your stuff together. So whatever these things are requesting, just look, see what they're requesting, get your stuff together. Then this way, when it comes time for you to need something, you will be able to get the funding that you need. And, you know, the biggest thing is I need you to understand some of these things are grants. You understand that? Which means you wouldn't even have to pay this money back. So... What if you could get $10,000 and not have to pay it back? Like, <laughs> 
who's not trying to do that, right? Now, if you have employees, that's even more reason for you to go ahead and get this money for your business, right? And so I just want you to be prepared. The only thing I could do is give you the information. I can't make you act on it, but I can tell you where to go get it. And like I said, all of this stuff, I've already put some of it and then I got a couple other things to just copy and paste and put inside of the website, ladybusiness.com forward slash COVID-19. That is where you will find this information. Ladybusiness.com forward slash COVID-19 is where the information will be for all of these different loan programs. So you do not have to worry about, oh my God, let me go to each individual site just to find it. You can, you're still gonna have to go to each individual site if you need to apply and if it's applicable to you, but all of the content is inside of the website, ladybusiness.com forward slash COVID-19. And that's L-A-D-Y B-I-Z-N-E-S-S dot com and forward slash COVID-19. If you need that form, like I'm saying, so that this way you can allocate and you can see what your expenses are, then I can go ahead and email that to you, but you just need to go to the website and send me an email and then I will get that to you. So what else do I have on the list for today? The upcoming events. Listen, when I'm telling you your girl is not playing with this agenda, <laughs> my agenda is so nasty this month, honey. All right, so a couple of things. This Wednesday, I'm doing Financing Your Small Business. I suggest that you be on there at 6 o'clock p.m. It's with GTCC Small Business Center, and um, that class is 6 p.m., all right? If you don't know where to get financing, and this is just like in regular times or what to do, this is the class where I go into this in more detail. So Financing Your Small Business is this week at 6 p.m. On Thursday, I have a brand new workshop that can work for everybody's business. So on Thursday, I'm going to be doing How to Create Gift cards and connect with customers. This is brand new. I have never taught this one before. So I got all kinds of goodies up in here. And if you say, well, look, I don't take gift cards right now. You know what my answer is? Why not? Why don't you take gift cards? Do you not want to get paid? You want to get paid, don't you? I know you want to get paid. So therefore, that means we need to take gift cards, right? Now, what if you don't have a site that's set up to do that? I'm going to tell you how to do it. And then I'm also going to tell you how to connect with customers to get them to make those purchases, those gift cards. So that's Thursday at 6 p.m., okay? Then next week, Monday, we're going to be doing Websites Made Easy. And so if you have thought about like, oh, I want to create a website, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to consider to go into a website, okay? Um, then we're also going to be doing marketing your business and that's going to be on Monday next week too but that's at night that's one of my favorite classes to teach that marketing your business because then I go over your thought process for what you need to do to market your business so if you are one of those people that's lost in the sauce you do not have to be because next week Monday we're doing the marketing your business okay then we're also going to be doing our beauty and barber series boot camp so if you have a friend that's out there that's in the beauty barber industry hair care skin care um, body care type business then they need to be a part of that boot camp that one is a paid one. That one's $67, but they will leave with their CEU hours that they need in order to have their state board, you know, certification, make sure that everything is good there. Um, we're going to be doing Amplify Your Twitter next week on the 20th, all right? We're also going to be doing How to Write a Business Plan. So if you don't have one or you want to get that together, then that's going to be on the 20th at 6 p.m. Um, on Thursday, the 21st, I'm doing How to Monetize Your Ideas Online, which is also one of my favorite ones. So that's happening this month. And then... Then something that I have not done in years, probably three years online, self-publishing your book, okay? Now, this is self-publishing for business owners. So this is different than when I do my, it's time to, you know, create that ebook boot camp. This one is different. This one is going to talk about self-publishing, but it's going to go over the things that you need to do if you want to have a physical book in your hand, but it's totally free for you to come to. And that's sponsored by, again, Carolina Small Business Development and then Wake Tech Community College. They're sponsoring that class. And then I also have, hold up, let me get the date. I'm missing a date in here somewhere. Um, hmm. I have two other events that are coming up. One is going to be a chat where I'm talking with um, Chandra Gore from um, the, uh, she's a PR person. So we're going to be talking to that. And then I do have another one where we're going to be doing like a, um, a um, live chat and chill. And that's going to be with another uh, publicist because my thing is, I think that you need to see that publicists are important things. And when I can work with publicists who help you to really get the word out about your business, that's a wonderful thing. So I have two things that are coming up with publicists this month as well, but all of that'll be out really shortly. So I'm going to put that on there. These things are all in May, but hold up, hold up, boo. We're not even finished because people keep sending me say they want that ebook bootcamp back. 
that. My people have already been making money from putting their ebooks out. When they put them out last week, the ebooks is bringing in money. So the ebook boot camp, that's $97, but she is coming back on Memorial Day weekend. Now, what I decided to do was flip it a little bit. So it's going to be on Sunday and Monday. Because let me tell you what's happening before that. It's a whole nother summit that I'm doing that's going to be stimulating your business summit. That's going to be completely free on the 23rd. So that's that Saturday. That's from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. But on Sunday and Monday, I'm going to be doing the ebook boot camp. So if you're one of those people that said, well, look, I have some ideas and I want to make some money. I'm telling you, writing an ebook is definitely one of them. And so Sylvia Reed is our um, Share Small Biz of the Week. Her stuff is going out this morning. She finished up her ebook. She came to the boot camp class, paid for it. Her ebook is out, and she has already made back the money that she spent on that boot camp. Come on, let me tell you something. It's a wonderful thing to take these ideas out of here and then turn them into money. That's why I said today is all about money, right? Okay, so that's going to be Memorial Day weekend, which is the 24th and the 25th. We're going to do the boot camp, okay? Now, then um, I have the basics of bookkeeping is the 27th. I also have how to create an online store on the 28th. And so there's so many things all month long that I am teaching, majority of them for free for you to be able to make money with your business. And even if, this is what I need you to think about, there are businesses that still cannot open right now. Where do you have a list of your classes? Where do you think, girl? Ladybusiness.com. If you don't get on over to that website, ladybusiness.com, and then do forward slash events, that'll take you right there to the events class. Also, they're on Facebook. So if you go to the Facebook Lady Business page, they're there on there, and then you can register. So I'm giving you a rundown, and I'm probably getting ready to add in some more that aren't even on this list, because, I mean, it's a couple that I didn't even put on this list, which is why the list is not going out yet. But this list will be there for you to be able to download, and then you'll be able to click in you'll be able to register for these classes. When I'm telling you 95% of the classes that I do are free, they are free. But then I also have some that are charged. And when I'm telling you, when you pay for them, you get even more than you get in the free classes, which I mean, it's like, can you even believe that? Like, I mean, yeah. But go to the website, ladybusiness.com forward slash COVID-19 to get these resources for where you can get funding for your business, okay? And then it's a whole lot of other stuff that's in there too that has to deal with COVID-19. And if you're interested in any of the events, go to ladybusiness.com forward slash events and you'll be able to get any of the um, any of the things that are in there um, because we have a whole bunch of events coming up and I have stuff that's scheduled from now all the way till August. So this will enable you to be able to register for whatever you're looking for. I am adding in more classes because I'm out here working for all different kinds of schools and organizations. And um, we did a bomb workshop last week with um, with Wake Forest Chamber of Commerce. And so I'm looking for them to really, they're, they're going to be booking a new series as well. So I'm looking for them to do the new series. So the ebook, yeah, that was the boot camp with the ebook. I see Sharice Jones says she was missing that one. That was $97. And that one is Memorial Day weekend. So I gave y'all a couple of weeks to go ahead and get your pennies together. So you can pay that $97. Now, at this point in time, don't do payment plans. You got to go ahead and press that button and put that 97 in there. But with that, if you're doing an ebook boot camp, I give you the templates so that this way you can make your book. I give you the templates so that you can um, market your book. I give you the whole entire marketing plan. I give you exactly where to go to put it up and how to make it as easy as possible for you to make the money, how to actually write your book. So when I'm telling you the, the boot camps are more intensive than what we do as far as the free classes, the free classes give you the idea and tell you where to go, but the boot camps actually walk you through how to do everything. So that's why the boot camps have a charge and then the other ones don't, they're free, but the schools are also paying for that. So this way it's free to you. And I keep telling people, I go get the money so that I can make it free as possible possible to you. But there are certain things that are way more labor intensive that require way more time, which that goes over the budget that the schools are willing to pay at this point in time. Um, and so I just kind of look at, well, what do people want? And then I put those things together for the people. So if you are saying, look, I'm having problems with my business, I need to bring in more money. I am giving you the tools that you need all month long in order to bring in more money for your business. I'm telling you where to go to get the money. And then I'm telling you where you can go ahead and, and take your ideas and make some money with them and how to organize that so that this way you can be a successful, productive business. So that's what's going on this month. Okay. Is that enough? Is that enough? I think that's enough for the people. So now if you feel like you want to join the group on Facebook, it's totally completely free. Chisa's Corona content every day. 
me and everybody that's in the group puts in content that will help you to know what's going on in your community. Like I see, um, I see Sherry is on here and I just posted that they are closing some of the, um, what do you call those things? Golden Corrals. And she was like, that's where I usually go to eat at that one Golden Corral that's in Raleigh. And I was like, not anymore. <laughs> that Golden Corral is closing. And you know what I thought about? Part of the thing what they're talking about with COVID is even having places where um, buffets are, they're talking about not even having buffets open. What if your business runs as a buffet? You might need to be reevaluating life right now because that may be something that's of the past. The buffet may not be of the future, right? Or maybe they have to change the way that they serve things. So I'm just saying, just think about those things. So in you planning and prepping for your business the um the group that's Chisa's corona content is a great place for you to be able to find out what's going on and what's happening all right so i want to thank you guys for listening today go to the website find that information that you need and in addition to that the podcast is up there so you can check out my podcast if you like and i'll be putting some new episodes up really shortly um if you're interested in the share small biz is a page for that if you want some help marketing your business so all of that stuff is on the website and again if you do want that form where i can give you so you can go ahead and list out what your your income is and what you've been spending i can send that to you but just go to the website and send me an email and then i'll go ahead and get that over for you as soon as possible all right so i hope that you have learned so much today with jesus corona content and i hope that you always show up and show out and continue to do what give it to the people because you know the people need it right all right so share this message with somebody feel free to do a watch party feel free um to just tag somebody that needs the information um because we want them to make sure that they get it as well. Talk to you guys later. See you.